I just shot a nice big buck and uh, I think it's a little low and forward. So we waited an hour and a half and we thought instead of taking risk of it, we'll just get a dog and see if he can find it. Looks like there's some good blood, but it'll be good practice for this dog. He's only uh, five months old. Okay, Scott, let's see if he can find my deer. Get him, Max. Well, we're tracking a lot faster than we could if we were doing it the old way, looking for blood. I just fell in the ditch. I didn't see. I was filming. Oh, there he is. Good boy. What do you, oh, do you find him? Yeah. How big is he, Scott? Oh, man. Oh, He's a good one. Yes. Good boy, Max. Get him, get him, Max. Oh, my I went God. Low 140, Dad. Good boy. Yeah, and we're oh, archery hunting during the rifle oh, season. Get that deer, Max. We're competing with those rifle hunters. Get that deer, Max. <laughs> Won't be any minus points. Really nice. Uh, brow tines. Brow tines. Look, Very nice brow look at those, those brow tines. Oh, I think I got my first Pope and Young white tail. Easy. Look how that blades out. A lot of the. Thanks, Max, for finding our deer for us. Good job. Don't know if I mentioned, but I was sitting in Scott's tree. I've shot both my bucks this year in his trees. My tree, my deer, let me drag him out, huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the way to go. You drug the last one out. Talk about doing all the work. He's been pulling this clean out of the bottom there. I just decided to film some of it. He's been pulling up out of that bottom for probably at least 100 yards. Straight uphill. Once we get on top, it won't be quite as bad. It's uh, January 9th, 2009. We're in deer hunting down here in Georgia in Twiggs County. There are seven days left in the deer hunting season and I finally tagged out the second buck. A little bit of story of this buck. Uh, tonight, my son Scott was going to come out and hunt this one spot that he and I have. And uh, some things he had to interview for a job, he couldn't make it. And if he would have, he'd been rushing, so he decided not to hunt tonight. So I went out and hunted the tree that he was going to hunt. And just as luck would have it, two nice bucks. An eight point that was a little wider than this one. And this ten point was walking out. And they played around my area for quite a bit. And finally, I usually don't like to take over a 30 yard shot. He stood out there at 40 yards, broadside, just giving me a picture perfect solid pit shot. So I took the shot and made a good shot. But of course you always second guess yourself. And I thought the shot was low, too forward. I had all these visions in my mind and 
wounding this nice big buck and not getting him, so I called my son Scott up and said, bring the dog out. He has a fantastic tracking dog that tracks these wounded deer for us. His name's Bo. He's a Labrador Retriever. And uh, so he brings Bo out and he says, well, before we get down there, let's uh, let Max have a try at it because he's our new pup that we're training to track deer too. But if he can't find it, then we'll bring the old veteran Bo in and find him. So we got down there and yeah, put the pup on the track and he ran right to him. And here he is. I'm pretty sure he'll be poking young. <laughs>